These are my seasickness pills. And I've learned from my mistakes. I won't be forgetting them today. If you're new here, I'm Alethea, and I live full-time on a sailboat. It was never my intention to live this way, and I certainly couldn't imagine life on the water beforehand. But two years in, I'm starting to enjoy things enough to take you along for the ride. Today's vlog is brought to you from the Canary Islands, a small cluster of Spanish islands off the coast of Western Sahara. We're preparing for our Atlantic crossing, and there's a lot of work to do. Is it brave or is it stupid doing this on a white top? <laughs> One could interpret this or it says verde, green, as like, you know, it's eco-friendly, but I think it's that the grease is actually green. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. There are four winches on board and they all need to be serviced annually. It's nice to have some guidance when I'm doing something for the first time, but Tim usually leaves me to my own devices and then I guess I have to figure it out myself. And here we tackled our most ambitious project yet, replacing our fridge. It was a full-scale demolition and it wasn't pretty. This is the side I've just painted, and this is the original colour. But not all of the jobs are quite so glamorous. On some boats, flushing is a manual task. I'm going to be lubing that baby up. days until we leave and today I made a humongous shopping list wait let me go get it shopping list so everything that we have and everything that we need to get food supplies entertainment yeah so we've got two days to prepare for this the weather looks good well actually the weather did not look good all those little white dots are weather warnings so we didn't end up leaving. That, that's the whole, that's all I have to say to you. <laughs> Absolute chaos. <laughs> we have a big bag of delicious produce, but there's no way for it to go. Um, it used to be a really big hammock. We need a smaller hammock. That is the original end. And mine.
The thing about boat jobs is that not a single thing is straightforward. If you want to get into home improvement or learning how to be handy, the boat version is on steroids. You might think it's very simple, you know, it's just cleaning one small area, it's just fixing one screw, and it never, ever, ever turns out to be an easy job. There is nothing that turns out simple. So the best you can do is not think in your mind, this is so simple. You just think, okay, it's gonna be a mission. Even to get the tools or the products you need, you have to move at least four or five things. Sometimes, if you're unlucky, it also requires contortion. You've gotta climb into a very tiny space and just... It's less than ideal that we've ended up stuck in the marina, but we have made some new friends. We're going to dinner at our friend Pat and Frankie's boat, and I am making a matcha cheesecake for dessert. I wanted to use lotus biscuits, but they didn't have any. And the biscuits only came in one size, which is large. I just tasted the filling and it's so good but I will never be able to recreate this because I don't follow recipes I just I read the recipe and I use it as a guide and then after I've looked at the recipe I'm like oh yeah that's good and I never look at it again I'm just like yeah that seems right even though the stakes are so high and I'm making something I've never made before for friends that I love dearly I'm still going to wing it. <laughs> I'm always so proud of my food. It's like, it's my firstborn child. Bro, it's better than your firstborn child. <laughs> my firstborn you child. My first child. <laughs> we wouldn't sell that <laughs> Macaroni cheese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic. I'm gonna, I was gonna cut it off. What? Tim so said nice. no. Looks so nice. The approval. But now we need to. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. All right. 